Hello there bookish friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan if you don't know and today I am giving you my TBR for the Book Junkie Trials which is the first readathon that I am participating in in almost a year. Yeah, it's been almost a year since I have uh, participated in a readathon. And I decided to start with this one, not because it was easy, no. I decided to start with this one because it is created by Rachel Marie. And I love her and I love her channel and she's just one of the sweetest booktubers ever. And she's put so much effort into this readathon and I was just blown away by it. So I was like, yes, I, I have to participate because this looks like and sounds like so much fun. So here I am and I am ready to... <laughs> participate in another readathon and hopefully this goes well for me. And if you can't tell, I am an outlaw. I am on Team Outlaw. I've, I've got my bandana. I've got my sword. And I am... I was pretty excited for this, although I wish that I had put my name as Mischievous Megan on the uh, qu quiz test that we did. I think I did Magnificent Megan. And I'm really regretting that missed opportunity because Mischievous Megan would have been so good if I knew I was going to be an outlaw. Dang it. Also, since I have just moved, this is my new room and I will be filming in my room and, and in future videos I might be filming in front of my other bookshelves. But I'll probably do a lot of my filming in here in front of my wall of posters. This is my new space I just got and I've been really busy. Um, unpacking and organizing things so I haven't been able to keep up with, like, with a lot of booktube but that is all about to change now because things have really started to calm down for me a little bit and I have, I have more time to devote to my channel and to watching everybody else's booktube videos which I love to do. So without further ado because this has been one long intro I'm going to get into the books that I am reading for Team Outlaw. The first one is Chrism Peak. These peaks are about to blow. Reread a favorite to soothe them into dormancy. So for that one, I decided that I'm going to be rereading The Cruel Prince, and I don't currently have the physical bo book with me at the moment. I loaned it to one of my cousins who loved it, read it in a couple hours, and I'm going to go pick it up for her sometime in the next couple of days. But I decided to reread that book because I love The Cruel Prince, and I have only read it once, and I think it'll be a lot of fun to reread it now that I have read the second book. Yeah, I'm looking forward to rereading that one, and I feel like it's a good one to read because it's YA, and I'll just, I, f I have a feeling that I'm just going to fly through that one because I did the first time. And then the second one is Queendom Stone, so this one you are to read a book that features royalty, and this one I'm going to be reading The Little Prince, and this one I do not have a physical copy of the book, but I'm going to be reading it using script, and this one is another short one that I thought would be a good one to add to my TBR. I actually got this idea off watching our gracious queen Rachel Marie's recommendations videos and I thought that this would be a great one to read because I haven't read it. I saw the movie on Netflix and I adored it and so I thought that this would be a fun book to read and I know it's short so it's perfect for a readathon. The next prompt is The Forgotten Forest and for this one you're supposed to read a next book in a series and for this I'm going to be reading Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. I finished the first book just a few days ago and I was I was blown away. I mean, Lainey Taylor, Taylor's writing is absolutely gorgeous and stunning, and it's just beautiful, and I cannot wait to get around to reading this second book. And I do not have a physical copy as well, because I'll be audiobooking this one, as I did with the first one, and I using script again, so this one will be audiobooked. Okay. Um. The uh, next prompt is uh, The Weeping Falls, and this one is to read a tearjerker book. And for that, I have the perfect one that I have, that I know, just thinking about it makes me makes me almost cry. And that is The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. If you don't know what this book is about, um, I'd be a little bit shocked. But th this is from a young boy's point of view in World War II about the Holocaust, where he goes to visit one of the camps near where he lives, and he makes friends with this boy who was a Jew who was stuck in the camp, and things just kind of go forth from there, and it's just, I know that it ends horribly, and I'm not prepared for this. I also picked this one because it is very short. It's just a little over 200 pages. I know that I will be able to f fly through this one, maybe. But I also know that this one is definitely going to make me cry. I'm just, I'm almost crying thinking about it now. Okay, we're going to put this down. And then, of course, the next book that I'm going to be reading is the group book, 
Stardust. I have actually read this before because I love pretty much love all of Neil Gaiman's books. So I read this uh, a year or so ago, but I'm cool with rereading re it again and see if, seeing if I get something different out of it. There's also a movie based off this book, you don't know, and if you haven't seen it, it is pretty different from the book, but it's still a really fun movie. <laughs> I watched the movie before I saw the book, so I was kind of expecting something a little bit different, but I still enjoyed what I got. So those are the books that I am for sure going to be reading. I want to complete all of the quests for Outlaw, but I'm also going to be trying my hand at completing all of the quests. So yeah, I'm going to show you the books that I have planned for all the other challenges, and I'll try to be quick so this video isn't super duper long. The next one is The Dwarf Mounds, and this challenge is to read a book, read a book with a hint of romance to get you in the mood. And for this challenge, I have this book, Infinite Blue, and this one is pretty much a romance book that takes place by the sea. Our two lovers are uh, swimmers, so I'm interested to see what happens in this book. I read the first couple of pages just to see if I like the writing style, and I did, and I have a feeling that I'm going to enjoy this book. And it's also another short one, it's just, it's not even 200 pages, so I'm sure that I can fly through this one in a couple of hours. So that's the next book that I'm going to try to get to. <laughs> and the next challenge is for the Apothecary Tower, and that is to choose a book blindfolded from your bookshelf, but I'm not going to be doing that. I A lot of the books that I have on my bookshelf that I haven't read that I would be trying to randomly search for are like high adult fantasy novels that are going to take me a couple of weeks to read, so not good for a readathon. So I'm going to be using my special skill that the Outlaws have. I'm going to be stealing a book from one of my other team members, and that is Christine from the channel The Other Christine That Reads. And that book is Paper Girls. I have heard a lot of people mention this book, and it seems like something that I would enjoy. So I'm going to borrow this from the library. I have it on hold. I'll get pick it up in the next couple of days. And I have a feeling that I'm going to enjoy this book, and I wanted to add a graphic novel to my TBR as well, because I don't have any, and those are really good books for readathons. So I'm going to add that one. Next one, the next one is The Great Library, and this is to choose a book that has been on your TBR for forever. And there are a lot of books that have been on my TBR for a while, but I decided to go with... Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. I don't know much about this book. All I know is that I love Brandon Sanderson's Mistborn trilogies and a few of his other books, and this is one that's been on my TBR for a year or two years or something, and I want to get around to reading it. It's also one of his only young adult novels or series. I feel like that's a better one to put on my TBR. And I don't know much about this book, but I know it's been on my TBR for forever, and I love Brandon Sanderson's writing style, so this is one that I want to... So this is one that I'm going to try to get around to reading, so we'll see how that goes. It's a bit longer than a lot of the other books on my TBR, but I don't get because I want to read it, so. And the next challenge is Drowning Deep, and that is to read a book that will suck you into its world with immense world building. And for this one, I wasn't 100% sure what to go with, but I decided to go with one that I've already read that I have wanted to reread for a while, and that is Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna McGuire. I read this a year or two years ago, and then and since then I have read all the other books in her Wayward Children series, so I thought it would be fun to go back to the first book. And this one has a lot of different world built worlds built into it. And if you don't know what this book is about, or the series is about, this is pretty much a home for children who have gotten lost in other worlds, and they end up back on Earth, and they don't have a place to go because they're out of place in our world. So they go to this this wayward home for like-minded children. And I really enjoyed the first book, and I want to read it again and get sucked into this kind of crazy world where other worlds exist, and I just wanted to listen to it and I wanted to reread it again. I'm using Scrib to audiobook this as well, this one as well because I love listening to audiobooks. The next challenge is Orc Grove and that is to read a book that is gruesome or gritty and for that one I have Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young and all I really know about this is that there are Vikings and it's gruesome and gory. I read a little bit on a Goodreads to see if it was gory and it is so that's another one that I took up from the library that, that I'm hoping that I will enjoy. And I also have the audiobook for this, so I'll be audiobooking it slash reading it and see which and seeing which one I like better. And the and next one is The Old Pirate Cove. And this one is to read a book that takes that takes place at least partly in the sea. And for that I have To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. 
I've had this book on my TBR for a while and I'm really excited to read it because I've heard that it is a very dark retelling of The Little Mermaid where we have our siren who rips out the hearts of the hum of human princes and, and eats them. And then we also, so we have her as our main character and then we have the human prince who goes out and hunts sirens and kills them. And they meet up and I don't know what happens but I just know that it sounds really interesting and I've heard... Uh, a lot of good things about it so I am excited to get around to this one. The next one is Glimmer and for this one you're supposed to read a book that has a beautiful or illustrious cover and unfortunately I don't have the exact book. I don't have the book cover that is prettier but I decided to go with Warcross. This cover isn't that nice. I mean it's okay looking but I really like the one with like the rainbow colored Warcross and the white. I really thought that was really pretty and kind of eye-catching so I decided to go with the Warcross also because I wanted to read it for a while. I have again another book that I've heard a ton of good things about. It is a bit longer than a lot of the other books on my TBR but I think that I will enjoy it and I want to get it. I wanted to read it for a while so that's for that challenge and the next one is the Draconic Isles and this is to read a book that has dragons in it and for that I decided to go with Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them this is a textbook from this is a textbook from the world of Harry Potter and this I wanted to find a book that was smaller I don't have a lot of books on my TBR that have to do with dragons because I've read all of them that I own that have to do with dragons because I love dragons but this one I don't think I've ever fully read it all the way through I've just skimmed it but I decided to read this one because it's not it's like what it's barely 80 pages and I wanted to add another smaller book to my TBR so this is the book we're gonna go with all right and the next challenge we have is the elven guard read a book with military war or political themes in it and for this one I decided to go with one that has political themes, and that is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. And I read Thug when it came out, obviously, along with a whole boatload of other people who read it. And I really enjoyed Thug, and I've heard some, I've heard a few mixed reviews on On the Come Up, but I know that it's got a lot of political themes in it and racial tensions. I'm interested to read that one. I'm going to be listening to this one on audiobook as well. because. And the next one is On the Hallow Isle. So this is to read an atmospheric or horror book. And I do not like horror books. I really do not like horror books. So I went with something that seemed more atmospheric. And that is Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. And this is the first book in a series and I'm going to be using this one as the audiobook on script as well because audiobooks are just going to help me through this readathon so much and this one is one that I've heard that is the magic system is beautiful and the writing is really beautiful and I've heard that it's very atmospheric so I'm using that book for the prompt and I'm excited to get around to that one and then the next one is the empty barrel inn and this one is to enjoy an indulgent read and for and for that I have this book that I have read before and I just, I enjoy it, even though it's kind of bad. And that is The Selection by Kira Cass. If you guys haven't read The Selection, it's a fun series. It's easy to get into, but it's not really that good. I mean, I feel the characters can get kind of annoying. But overall, I just have so much fun with it. And it's just kind of like one of those ones that's become a little bit of a guilty read. Not that I'm ever actually guilty about reading books just because they're not like classics or the most well-written. Or they're just a little bit smutty and a little bit cheesy and a little bit fun. That is the selection series for me. It's fun, cheesy, a bit bad at times. But I enjoy reading it. And I know that it's one that I can fly through as well. So that's the book I picked for that prompt. And then the last prompt is is The Giant Squid, A Fearsome Fellow. And that is to read an intimidating book on your shelves. Well, I didn't want to pick the most intimidating book because there's no point. I'm not going to get to it. That's The Name in the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. And that one is like so long and I know it's going to take me like a few weeks to read it. So I'm not going to pick it for this. But I have another book that has been intimidating me for a while. It's something that I've wanted to read, and that is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I've wanted to read some of her stuff, and I haven't yet. And I know that adult fantasy, it takes a little bit longer for me to read adult fantasy than it does for YA books. So I know that this one is going to take me longer to read than the other books. It's just a little over 400 pages, so this would be the biggest book on my TBR. Which makes sense, because it's supposed to be a big book or something that intimidates you. So that's 
the last book that I, this is the last book. Oh my gosh, I'm done. Whoa. Whoa. So <laughs> these are all the books that I have with me physically at the moment. Um, there's <laughs> two other books that I'm going to pick up, one from the library and one from my cousin. Um, but yeah, so this is a pretty big TBR. That's 17 books to read in a month. So yeah. <sighs> And I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, Megan, are you gonna read all those books? That's a that's a lot of books. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, the answer for that is no. I'm not gonna read all these books. I am definitely not gonna read all these books. Seventeen books. I have never read that many books in a month. But I wanted to get the TBR together for all the challenges, just so that when I finish the outlaw books, because my main goal is to read all the books that I have for myself, my team, the outlaw, and then I want to try to do some of the other challenges as well just to get some more points for my team because I know I'm not going to read all these books. I mean, yeah. I am a busy person and I can't spend all my day reading as much as I would absolutely love to. It's just not possible. So that is my TBR for this. I am really excited for this readathon. And if any of you guys are participating in this readathon, let me know down below. And you can even link your uh, videos if you've got any TBR videos down below. And I would love to watch them because I'm catching up on a bunch of booktube videos. That is all I have for you guys today. The only thing that I have left to say is that Team Outlaw, we're gonna win because the outlaws, we don't play by no one's rules.